Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss changes to getting ECFMD certification in 2024, particularly how this might impact you and what we can do now. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with your friends. This really helps YouTube algorithm. Now let's jump into the video. First, let's talk about the current policy. What are the requirements for ECFMD certification now? To be eligible for certification by ECFMG, an international medical graduate must meet the following requirements. Medical school requirements, application for ECFMG certification, medical educational credential requirements, and lastly, examinations. Now, one thing I would like to make clear regarding the application for ECFMG certification. What does it mean? By this, it means only applying for a certification, not getting the certificate. Once you complete the step 1 and step 2 exams, then you will get the certificate. So you must apply for this certificate before appearing the exam and will get it after passing all these exams. Now let's see the current medical school requirements. As you can see here, schools that met all the requirements will be listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools with an ECFMD note stating that the school meets eligibility requirements for its students and graduates to apply to ECFMD for ECFMD certification and examination. It also says if there is no ECFMD note on the sponsor notes tab of the medical school's listing, its students and graduates are not eligible to apply to ECFMD for ECFMD certification and examination. That means it clearly says if there is no sponsor note, you cannot apply to ECFMD for ECFMD certification. That means you cannot apply for USML exams. So this is the current policy and it is very straightforward. Now here you can also see an important note. It says starting in 2024, ECFMG will begin implementation of ECFMG recognized accreditation policy. So the term recognized accreditation policy itself is confusing for many of us. I will break it down and make it clear to you. The information I will give here will be based on the updated information as of October 12, 2022. Now, what is recognized accreditation? It means that a medical school's accrediting agency has been reviewed and recognized by an external quality assurance organization. So, what does it mean by accrediting agency? Every country has an accrediting agency that determines whether the medical education program meets established standards. For example, in the US and Canada, as you can see here, their accrediting agency name. By external quality assurance organization, that means that is a recognition program designed to provide an independent, transparent, and rigorous method of ensuring that the accreditation of medical schools worldwide is at an internationally accepted and high standard. It also evaluates the compliance of accrediting agencies with some predefined criteria. That means recognized accreditation is a two-step process. First, medical school must be accredited by the agency of that country and then further accredited by an external organization. As of today, ECFMG has approved two organizations for the recognition of medical school accrediting agencies. Those are World Federation for Medical Education or WFME and National Committee on Foreign Medical Education and Accreditation. Now let's see the countries already recognized by these two organizations. I am on WFME's website. As you can see in this picture, medical schools in countries shaded as deep blue are already recognized by WFME. That means if your medical school is located in any of these countries, you do not need to worry about the changes implementing in 2024. You can also see the full list of countries on their website. Now the countries with light blue shade. Their recognition status is in progress, which means their agency already applied for the recognition but not yet recognized. In this picture, I can also see some countries shaded as light gray. I'm not sure what does it mean, but my best guess is they did not even apply for the recognition yet. So if you are in the medical school located in any of these light gray shaded countries, I would encourage you to contact your agency so that they can start the process as soon as possible, because the process of this accreditation itself takes 12 to 18 months to complete. I am now on National Committee on Foreign Medical Education and Accreditation website. This organization has already reviewed and accredited a few of the agencies as you can see here. 
I put the link of both organizations in the description below. You can check the status of your medical schools. Now, if your medical school is not accredited or will not be accredited by 2024, what is the solution? Yes, there is a solution. So, if you are a medical student or graduate, you need to start the USMLE journey right now or at least complete the ECFMG certification process before 2024. For more clarification, what steps can you complete before 2024? You can apply for the USMLE ID, apply for the ECFMG certification, and submit Form 186 and Identity Form. It will cost you not too much, probably a couple of hundred dollars. Now, if you complete up to this, whatever is the accreditation status of your medical school will be starting in 2024, it will not affect you as you have already completed this process before 2024. Then you can apply for Step 1 or Step 2 CK exam in 2024 or 25, it's up to you. All the rules will be applied to you based on current policy. Still, if you are confused, not sure, I would encourage you to contact ECFMG. If you have any questions, please comment down below. That's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please like this video and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.